Hi, welcome to the second chapter. Before starting this lecture, if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with all our upcoming lessons, tips, and tricks about mastering the Soroban. In this lecture, we will start performing arithmetic operations. Don't panic. I will guide you step by step to understand the techniques used in the Soroban. First, we will learn how to add, then how to subtract. After that we will understand the chain method, and finally the orientation of the calculation. Let's start with the basic 1 plus 1 operation. Represent 1 by sliding up a lower bead. Then, add 1 by sliding up another lower bead. Now, you can read the result representation, 2 active lower beads equals 2. Let's try another operation, 2 plus 1. Slide up two lower beads to represent two, then slide up one lower bead to add one. Now the sum is three. It's very easy, isn't it? So, the technique is very simple. Represent the first number, then add the beads with the value of the second number. This technique is called simple addition. Simple subtraction is very similar to the addition technique. All you have to do is represent the first number, then deactivate beads to subtract the second number. In this example, we're subtraction 3 from 4. To do so, just represent 4, then deactivate 3 lower beads. You've got the right answer, 4 minus 3 equals 1. I hope you understand this. If you feel not ready to go further, go back and try to use your abacus to perform more operations. For example, you can try to calculate 2 plus 2 or 4 plus 5. You can also try to calculate 7 minus 5, or 6 minus 1. If you want to do more, I will let you a link in the description below. As we mentioned earlier, the main purpose of using the Soroban is to gain more speed and proficiency while performing calculation. The Japanese method consists in displaying numbers randomly in a large table, then performing calculations horizontally, vertically, and so on. They also use a technique called flash calconzon, which is a sort of a chain of numbers displayed as flashes with a beep, or as a list of numbers sliding from left to right, or from top to bottom. These techniques are used in a high level. For now, we're going to learn the chain method. Take a look at this operation, it's a mix of addition and subtraction. Let's start by representing the first number, slide up three lower beads. Now, add five by sliding down the upper bead. Next, slide down one lower bead to subtract one. Then, add two by sliding up two lower beads. Now, we can read the result on the Soroban. All beads are active, so it's nine. You can always refer to soromania.com to practice these activities. Check the links in the description below. When dealing with big numbers, it's very important to maintain the right orientation, left to right. You will be confused a little bit here, because you've learned so far in the school to perform calculations from right to left, but with a lot of practice, everything is gonna be okay. Let me explain by this example. Assuming you have to perform this operation. First, you have to represent the first number. Next, to add the second number, you have to start from the digit on the left, add one in the rod of the hundred thousands. Then, jump to the next rod to add seven. Next, add another 7 in the rod of thousands. Then, add 5 in the rod of hundreds. And 4 in the rod of tens. And finally 3 in the ones rod. Do the same thing to the third number, start from the left. Subtract 1. Then 2. Then 3. Then 2 again. Then 7. And finally 5. The result is 426662. Well, it's enough for you today, I know it's a lot of new staff we've seen. You could have some ambiguity, but it doesn't matter for now, we will be repeating these techniques in order to strengthening your understanding. You can always practice on your abacus, and also feel free to check the links in the description below for more activities. If you're stuck somehow, leave me a comment, I'll be very happy to answer your questions. Again, you can check out our educational book for more explanations and also our community in the social media. 
hit the subscribe button, like and share. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. In the next lecture, we will dive deeper in the arithmetic to see how to deal with unavailable beads. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lecture.